Moving on to analyzing, we take a look at the app called Grammarly. So when you log into the app, the first thing that pops up is your menu. So you can add Grammarly to your Mac. So when you're writing an essay, it allows you to look over your grammar right away. It gives you updates on what, what's wrong with your essay, what's, wrong, what's not wrong. So you can either install that. You can go to your account. When you're in your account, it gives you a customization. There is a subscription for it. So if you want to go to the premium, which it might be a little expensive, yeah, about like $12 a month. So it could help, but it's a little expensive. But it gives you everything. It gives you vocabulary enhancements to find words to and live in your message, clarity and conciseness, plagiarism, and inappropriate tone. There's a new style, too, where it allows you to... Uh, have stronger business words instead of uh, basic words, which I think is very helpful. When you go back, there's apps that you can also download for your Mac. Instead of just Grammarly, that can also help you with your essays. When you first log into Grammarly, you can go to these uh, demo documents, and it gives you a quick tour right here. It gives you detailed feedback on your writing and apply suggestions with one click. You can become a better writer. You can see your feedback organized into categories that help you identify where your writing is strong and where you, where you can make it stronger. You can go beyond your grammar. It helps you basically just become more fluent in having better words throughout your essay. And finally, you can set your goals just Grammarly's feedback based on your objectives, your target audience, your writing style, and much more. <clears throat> so here's one of the demo documents. As you can see, his punctuation is wrong, and right away, you can easily just click it, and it will remove the space for you. It's very helpful. Also, here's another one. It will, but it will. It's, it's helping you. It'll make your essays much, much better. If you look here on the right side of the screen, it'll give you your overall score of your essay. It tells you your performance. Uh, the score represents the quality of writing in this document. You can see it by uh, addressing Grammarly suggestions. It shows you all your word count, your word senses, reading time, your readability, how long some of your words are. It gives you a lot of statistics, which really helps you enhance your, uh, your essay. Your vocabulary, it shows you how unique some of your words are, how rare some of your words are, and if they're average or below average or above average. And you can download the PDF report to show people, to show your professor how this helps and doesn't help your essay next part we're taking a look at is the goals you can adjust your goals to get tailored writing suggestions based on your goals and audience so your audience if it's general knowledgeable or an expert you can uh, apply that to your essay your formality if you want a very formal or you want an informal your domain if it's academic general business email casual creative and your tone and your intent uh, if your intent is experimental what are you trying to do this helps us build new suggestions and won't affect your feedback today. You could also always just reset it to the default one, so it's going back to the basics. It helps in many ways. And then here's all your correctness, clarity, engagement, delivery, and premium. Premium, you're going to have to pay for that, like $12 a month, which isn't terrible, but it's a lot to start. If you do decide to go with the premium option, though, you can actually get help with an expert, which is basically like a tutor. On this, on this app where you guys can have it set up a meeting, they can read through it with you and tell you what they think is best and what is not and what you should take out. It's very helpful if you would actually do that. Lastly here, you can see the difference between the free for individuals with basic writing suggestions, the premium, the style, clarity improvements, and additional advanced corrections. And also there's a business one where uh, professional and clear communication for a team up to 3 to 149, which is everything in premium, but also adds some new stuff such as style guide, admin panel, centralized billing, priority email support, and that last single sign-in option. All the, and if you scroll down, here's all the features that each include, and it breaks down everything for you to see to show you which one's your best option.